Prosser and right now I'm here at Perry High School on the north side of Pittsburgh where I run a literacy support program. Lit Support has been in the elementary schools for the past six years, but this is the first year that we've had an in-school program for high school students. Actually, um, it's quite a blessing to be here because about six months ago, I didn't think that it was going to be possible. In-school programming normally starts in September, um, but due to some logistical challenges that caused a halt in the planning process, um, the program had to be put on hold indefinitely. And I actually spend the first part of this year working with kindergarten and first grade students, which was, you know, enjoyable, but also a little frustrating since my degree is in education for 7th through 12th grade. Um, but just when I had given up on the idea of ever being able to start a program at Perry, God opened an, a door completely unexpectedly in January, and I was actually able to start coming to Perry about two weeks later. Um, now I come to Perry three days a week, and I pull, pull small groups of ninth grade students out of their English classes. Um, we do the same coursework that they normally would be doing with their classroom teacher, but the smaller, quieter setting allows them to focus better with reduced peer distraction and allows me to pay them a higher degree of attention and give them a little bit more motivation. Actually, people are usually pretty surprised when they hear that I work with high school students. Um, I think they assume that older students um, wouldn't be as cooperative or interested in forming a relationship with an adult outside of the classroom. Um, and that was true the first couple weeks. Um, when I would be working with kindergarten, the students would just come running out of the classroom so excited, and everyone else in the class would be like, take me next, take me next. But the first couple weeks at Perry um, was more like almost physically dragging my freshmen out of the room to try to coax them to come to program with me. Um, but I also don't think that society gives teenagers enough credit for how much they want to be loved. Um, and God really did a mighty work in my students' lives over the last couple weeks. Um, now when I come to program, I do get the occasional hug from my freshmen. And I do sometimes have students who ask me like, hey, can I start coming to what you do? Um, and I even had one student who initially refused to be enrolled in the program at the beginning of the semester come to me a couple weeks ago and say, like, hey, Ms. Sarah, like, can I come back? Um, and of course I let him. But even more than the relational transformation that I saw happen this semester, I was so pleasantly surprised by the academic progress that my kids made. Most of the kids that I work with failed English the previous semester. Um, but over the last nine weeks for the third quarter, kids, the kids that I work with, their grades went up by just about half a letter grade. And some of my students with the most faithful attendance went up by 20, 40, even 50%, which was just so huge and exciting. And um, even though the accomplishment is all theirs, I do not want to take credit for that. It was just so honoring to be part of that journey. I think a lot of times we've put more of our focus on doing literacy with the early elementary grades and rightly so because most of that research shows that if students do not read at grade level by the end of third grade, then they are four times as likely to drop out of high school. But my experiences here at Perry have really proven to me that it is not too late to reach these kids. Um, and even if they might not ever be reading at full grade level, they can still make huge improvements. Um, and statistics are against my kids. Um, but I serve a God that is greater than statistics. And so literacy support is gonna be wrapping up here at Perry in just a couple weeks. And so I just ask you to pray for a strong finish to the end of the year and also to keep me in mind for next year as I transition from pilot program to full program. I was the only person to come to Perry this year, but in the future I'm hoping to have a couple volunteers who might help me expand the program to other grades in order to reach more kids. God has just done so much here at Perry in the last three months and I cannot wait to see what he has in store for the next couple of years.